just to show you how easy it is to build analytics in the CRM Analytics platform, I'm going to show you how to build a dashboard in five minutes or less. So let's go ahead and we're actually going to begin today for time's sake with just a blank dashboard. Let's go ahead and change a few of our parameters here. Change the background, <coughs> set a maximum, maximum width. Excellent. And we'll save that as my dashboard. My new dashboard. We'll save it in our private app. Now the data set we're going to be working from is uh, healthcare referrals. The first thing I want to do is I want to actually create a timeline of when those referrals were created. So let's go and create a trend chart here. And we're going to clip this and we're going to call this trend. And what will happen is this will actually come in and appear on my dashboard. And I'm going to use this as my hero chart. I'm not going to worry too much about formatting for the sake of this demo. Great. So now what I want to do is I'm going to show you how to create widgets directly from the dashboard. So let's grab that HLS referral data set. Maybe let's go and choose the name of the uh, referring organization and let's sort that by descending and maybe let's go ahead change the formatting a little bit kind of rows that looks great and let's call this referring org let's grab that now i'm just going to quickly add a title trend of referrals and let's change the size and then let's grab that referring org that I created and put that here. And we don't need a legend for this one. Let's get rid of that. Excellent. All right. That's really coming along nicely. Now what we want to do, let's create, let's say a, uh, let's bring in a logo, put up the top left to make things look a little bit more appealing and I've saved that to my desktop so let's go ahead and grab that <coughs> and we'll need to stretch that or rather make it fit let's make it fit the height which would be great and let's add a title to our dashboard and let's just call this medical Referral analytics. Uh, let's maybe make that look a little bit nicer. Uh, we could make the color a bit different, make that a bit larger. And that's that's coming on well. Another thing I wanted to do was actually add the total number of referrals. Now I could do that over a certain, a certain time period, but for the sake of this demo, I'm not going to add any filters to that. And let's go ahead and grab a number widget and put that on the dashboard. And let's go ahead and drag the total number there. Now what we are going to do, we're going to need to change that title. Total referrals. And this will be all time. And let's just change the, make the number a lot larger so it really stands out. Usually I make these pretty big. Title size, probably 18, that's fine. That gives us our total referrals over time. And maybe we'll just add in here, uh, let's add a filter. And maybe this will be according to the, uh, let's say, the name of the actual referring uh, practitioner. So let's do that. And we can just call that practitioner. That's coming along well. All right, that's great. That was pretty easy. Let's go ahead and save that. Shortcut S on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and make sure we can select multiple of these. And let's have a look at our dashboard and see how we can filter into our data. We can go in here. We can change a particular, uh, choose a particular practitioner. We can filter, we can share this all built in five minutes. There you go.